Welcome back to the Guggen Lab, everybody. We're talking about springtime fishing tips for spinner baits. Let's go. There's just something about a spinner bait that bass love. It's one of my favorite springtime baits to fish, and it still catches big ones, even though it's been around for a long time. So we're gonna go into some of the tips. Number one, let's talk about skirt and blades. There are different blade combinations that work better in certain situations throughout the year, but my favorite for the spring is the Colorado Willow Tandem. Your Colorado blades, they put out some thump. Uh, your Willow blades, they put out thump as well, but they're really more flashy. So it's a, it's a really good combination. Uh, I've heard it mimics the, the sound of threadfin shad, the vibrations underwater. It's that combination specifically is really close to that. So that's another reason why. I can't scientifically confirm that, but that's what I've heard. So picking out your spinner bait. It's all about water clarity and the kind of bait fish that you have, but especially water clarity. I've got four different colors right here with different uh, blade options as well. So if you're fishing in a lake that's stained dark water, you're gonna want some golds. So you're gonna want some bright colors. And this option right here, you know, a bright colored skirt with uh, double gold blades, really good. Puts out a lot of flash, a lot of color. Uh, if there's a lot of bluegill, we even have a, a bluegill color with a gold and nickel combination. My favorite by far is the gold and nickel combo with a chartreuse and white skirt. I don't know what it is, that color seems to work just about anywhere you go. But if it's a little bit colder or you have clear water, straight nickel is really good. So go with your shad profiles, your white, your sexy shad uh, with just that straight nickel. And it's not as bright. Uh, the whole goal is to attract the fish, get them coming to where they can see it. And it, it looks like a, a meal, looks like a bait fish, but it's not like so crazy that they're put off by it. That's the whole goal with uh, getting your blade and your skirt color. So first of all, look at your water clarity. If you got stained water, go with your, your brighter uh, colors. If you got clear water, tone it down a little bit. Let's talk about skirts and trailers. So you can modify your skirts. You can play around with a lot of different trailer options. You don't want to weigh your spinnerbait down with a big bulky trailer uh, because it'll, it'll cause your bait to turn over and do some funky things. So try to do a low profile trailer. My favorite uh, is a Guggenbaits drag and drop, believe it or not. This is a finesse drop shot bait, but playing around with it on vibrating jigs and spinnerbaits is the perfect low profile, uh, low drag, it has very little water resistance, and it just gives that, that nice shake wobble on the back without uh, making a counter effect on your spinnerbait. So it allows you to keep that spinnerbait fishing right up, upright, looking good, vibrating just right. So let's show you how to do that. You're gonna get all this skirt material out of the way, flip, flip your spinnerbait upside down like that, and all you have to do is rig this like you would any other jig head. I'm gonna push this onto the hook shank about an inch and a half or so. And then once you get right here where you feel like you have enough on there, just push it all the way. It'll start to get hung up on those plastic keepers and then really push it. Just make sure it's straight in line. That's beautiful. Gonna give that nice shimmy shake on the back. And it gives you a little bit of weight so you get more casting distance when you use a trailer. On our Guggen Squad Zingers, we have two plastic keepers on our hook shanks. So you don't have to worry about your plastic sliding off or messing around with it. You don't have to waste time. You stick it on there, it's on there. Now the other thing that happens when you push your plastic trailer all the way up on those plastic keepers is it makes that skirt flare out even more. So our skirts are hand tied, so you're already gonna get a nice flare to it, but when you push that plastic keeper up, it pushes it out even more. And that's what gives that reaction to a spinnerbait. When you're uh, starting your retrieve, when you're stopping your retrieve, 
uh, it will flare out and give that presence of like a bluegill that's spooked, that's scared, it's fanning out. Crawfish do the same thing. It's just in a fish's DNA, a bass's DNA, to go ahead and just smash that lure when they see that flare. So uh, that helps with that. You could also trim up your skirt, trimming up your skirt, making it a little bit shorter will lower the profile and it will also allow the skirt to flare even more. So you just take your scissors, you can trim it up a little bit to kind of match uh, your trailer. This is all experimenting. You can play around with the different ones, figure out your favorite trailers uh, and your skirt lengths for uh, the, the body of water that you're fishing. But spinnerbaits are really versatile. Uh, there's a lot of ways to change them, adjust them and to uh, modify them to get specifically on the type of water you're fishing and the bait fish to, to match everything. Biggest things on retrieve to think about in the spring when fishing spinner baits is your speed and then bumping into cover. So you're slowing down in the spring because the water's a little bit colder. So just a nice medium retrieve. I like to use a six two to one gear ratio reel, just a nice steady. and bump into cover as much as you can. So if you see a stump that's underwater, you know, point your rod tip left or right to get that spinner bait to run right into it and continue reeling through that after you hit it. And then if you don't get a bite when you hit, make contact with that cover, go ahead and snap your rod tip, get that skirt to flare out another time and give that fish another chance to react and smack that spinner bait. So those are the key things to keep in mind when you're springtime spinner baiting. And if you want to stay tuned for more tips and tricks, subscribe right here to the Guggen Lab.